Hello everyone, Pastor Jeremiah here, and today is Worship Wednesday, and I thank you for tuning in. I thank you for viewing today, and uh, again, w this week we're on the subject of prayer, and, uh, uh, and hey, in some places, that's a bad word, and uh, because people have gotten away from praying, they have gotten away from seeking God. And but you know what? I know I know this and I believe this, too, that heaven is calling the people of God back to the place of intercession, calling people back to the place of prayer, calling people back to get out of the 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 quote unquote church growth uh, methods and programs and get back to the place to where you hear from heaven. I'm not saying all that's bad. I'm not saying church growth things are bad. I'm not. But I'm saying when that becomes your um, your model, when that becomes what leads you instead of you seeking the face of God. Let me tell you something. You're on a place to where you make the church about humanism and what and man's own man's wisdom and man's understanding. But when you can get along with God. And you can begin to seek God in prayer and you can get downloads from heaven and downloads from the Holy Spirit. I want you to know that he will begin to guide you in a way to where God's perfect will will be done in your life, in your church, in your family, in your marriage, in your ministry, through your kids, in your community. God will do it. And so we're talking about prayer. And so I thank you so much for viewing today. I want you to turn uh, to Luke chapter 11. Luke chapter 11 and I'm doing some teaching and we're praying together as well but but you know people you, you need to realize this and and uh saying it again I told you I would repeat it several times this week you need to realize this nothing replaces prayer nothing okay it doesn't matter how much you worship it doesn't matter how much you praise it doesn't matter how much you give it doesn't matter how much you serve all those are good but if you ain't praying if you're not seeking God through prayer, something's missing in your life. And uh, Jesus himself, the Messiah, our Savior, the Bible says he would he would depart. He would he would uh, he would withdraw from the people, withdraw from the crowd, withdraw from the disciples and go and pray to seek the face of God. And so. That's what we need to do. And this week, I'm believing for those of you watching, those of you, those of you listening, I'm believing that the prayer, your prayer life is about to ignite. Passion is about to ignite. Zeal is about to ignite. Consistency is about to just light up in you. And you're going to find you're going to find that new breath in your prayer. You're going to you're going to have that new heart, that new strength in your prayer, that new faith in your prayer. So I'm believing for that. Luke chapter 11. And verse five. Now, listen to what the Bible says. And Jesus said to them, now, first of all, one through four, if you read one through four, what one through four is, is the disciples came to him. And uh, when he was praying and when he stopped, when he got done praying, they said, Jesus, teach us how to pray. So Jesus teaches what is called the Lord's prayer. But Jesus never prayed this prayer. How do I know that? Because Jesus never sinned. And the part of this prayer is forgive us, Lord, for our debts <laughs> as we forgive others who have trespassed against us. And so but Jesus is teaching us how to pray in this. Now, in verse five, he says this. He, he gives them another another uh, example, another parable, another story, if you will, that teaches them about prayer. And he says, which of you shall have a friend? And go to him at midnight and say to him, friend, lend me three loaves for a friend of mine has come to me on, on his journey and I have nothing to set before him. And he will answer from within and say, do not trouble me. The door is now shut and my children are with me in bed. I cannot rise and give to you. I say to you now, listen to what Jesus tells him. I say to you, though he will not rise and give to him because he is his friend. Yet because of his persistence, he will rise and give him as many as he needs. So I say to you, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be open to you. 
Here we are again, Jesus teaching on prayer. But he's but he but again, he is he's going right back to when you're teaching on biblical prayer. Being persistent is a powerful key. Being persistent is a powerful key. And so I want you to I want you to see something he's saying. He's saying, though that friend went to his other friend and asked him at midnight. Now, listen, at midnight, at the time when when things are not convenient or at the time when you're in a place where where no one else can really help you at a time. It's, you know, that midnight hour, so to speak, when things seem out of control or when things seem way or you can't do nothing about it. Your friend can't do nothing about it. And the midnight hour. Is when they come to him. Now, I want you to grab that. And he goes and knocks on this door and he says, listen, I need you to give me something to eat. I've got these people here. And he says, man, go away. Uh, -uh. I, you know, I'm I don't want to uh, bother everybody. But because he was persistent, because he kept on knocking, because he kept on asking and because he kept on seeking. The Bible says his friends going to get up and give him as many as he needs. Now, watch this. And Jesus said, hey, if you will keep doing it. If you look this up in the Greek in verse nine, it gives you the the uh, it, 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 it goes with the, 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 the saying or, or let me just say this. It is written as it says this. Ask and keep on asking. Watch this. Ask and keep on asking. Seek and keep on seeking. Knock and keep on knocking. That is that is what's written there. In other words, we're not just asking one time. We're not just seeking one time. We're not just knocking one time. We're going to keep on until what we're believing for, what we're asking for is released from heaven. Now, this is if you want to take away something from today's teaching, take this way. There are some things that there are some things that are released from heaven. And the only way they're ever going to be released is when you refuse to stop praying. When you refuse to shut up, when you refuse to. To, to say that, that when you have a tenacity, um, when you have a, 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 a fervent spirit, when you get so dogmatic that you said, no matter what, every single day I'm going to come before the Lord and every single day I'm going to ask and every single day I'm going to seek and every single day I'm going to knock. I come to tell you, there are some things there are some things released from heaven and that's the only way they're going to get released. Now, I want to I want to just point this out to you. He says, though he will not rise because he's he is your friend. Now, I'm going to say something that's probably going to upset some people. It's going to make some people think a little bit. And that's OK. You need to think uh, Christians have stopped thinking for some reason today. But and it might even upset some of you, but but that's OK. Search it out in the scriptures. Now, watch this. There are some there are some answers to prayers that are released, not because God is good. Not because of his goodness. Now, think about this. If all prayers were answered because of God's goodness, then every prayer would be answered. Because God is good all the time. There are some things that are released, not because of God's goodness, but because you don't quit. You're persistent. You keep praying. You keep praying. You keep praying and you keep seeking and you keep knocking and you and you keep asking. And and as them prayers are constantly coming before the throne of God. Things get released from heaven. Now, I want to make sure I'm clear. I did not say that God does not answer prayers because he's good. All right. I did not say I did not say his he doesn't answer prayers or he answers prayers uh, or he he doesn't answer prayers according to his goodness. I did not say that. I said there's some things that are only released because you won't shut up. And how do I know that? The Bible says out of a mouth of two or three witnesses, let a thing be established. Jesus is preaching. Now, I taught Monday and I taught and today on Wednesday. Uh, listen, I, Jesus is teaching on prayer. And two of the times that he's teaching on prayer, it's about persistence. It's about not quitting. It's about not hushing. It's about constantly bombarding the throne of God. You see, beloved, what am I trying to get to you today? I'm trying to say your prayers 
are reaching. Your prayers are powerful. The Bible says that whatever we ask the Father in the name of Jesus, he shall do for us. Now, you know, it's got to be in line with God's will. We, we don't try to get out there in crazy land. It needs to be lined up with God's will, his perfect will. It needs to be lined up with his word. It needs to be lined up with his plan and what he wants to do. But when it's lined up, beloved, he's going to answer. So today, I just, I'm going to pray for you in just a moment. And again, we're talking about persistence. And, and again, we're talking about, listen, there, there's, there's some people that receive things from heaven that other people don't. And it isn't because God plays favorites, because the Bible says there is no partiality with the Lord. Now watch this. What's the difference? Because there's just some people that won't shut up. And I'm going to decree and declare over you today that you're going to be one of those people. That you're one of those people that just continue to bombard heaven until you see God show up in that situation. Until you see the answer. Until you see the miracle. Until you, until you uh, uh, have what you're believing for. And so I want to pray for you today that the faith and the stirring of the Spirit of God would light a fire in you. And every day you come before the Lord constantly. Seeking God. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for every person watching. I thank you for every person that is believing. I thank you for every person listening right now. I ask you today in the strong name of the Lord Jesus right now, God. Oh, Lord, for those, Father, that have been growing weary in their prayer life. For those who have been growing faint, God. For those who have thought about giving up. For those who have, who have uh, even at times wondered, God, do you even hear me? God, are you even going to answer? God, what is going on in this? What is going on? I'm praying, but I'm not I'm not seeing any answer. I'm not hearing anything. I pray today, God, that there would be a tenacity. There would be something. There would be a strength of the Holy Spirit reaches down into their inner man, God, in the name of Jesus. And they would not give up. They will not quit. They will not stop praying. But day and night, God, they'll come before your throne asking seeking and knocking in the name of Jesus. And I believe with them, Father, that every petition they're making according to your perfect will is being answered in the name of Jesus. I thank you for this today, God. I believe you for this right now. We stand in agreement, God. We stand in agreement that it's happening in the name of the Lord Jesus. And we thank you for it. Amen. Amen. Listen, I thank you for watching today. Today is Worship Wednesday. I want to invite you out to uh, to our services tonight. Uh, Abundant Life Church, Locust Grove, Abundant Life Church, Forsyth. If you're in the South Atlanta area, anywhere around that area, come out to a Locust, our Locust Grove campus. You will not regret it. You can find out all of the details, the address, service times, all that on our website, AbundantLifeChurch.com. Or if you're in the North Macon area, anywhere around that area, you can go to our Forsyth campus tonight. Again, all that information is on our website. We would love to have you. You're going, you would be blessed in a powerful way because I'm telling you, the, the anointing and the power and the spirit of God is moving at these campuses and you don't want to miss it. We love you. We bless you. And I'll see you tomorrow. God bless. Thank you for tuning in to the Abundant Life devotional series. These devotions are available across many platforms, including our Abundant Life Revival Network YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at WeAreALRC for this and other great content. If you are in the South Atlanta area or the North Macon and Forsyth areas, we would love for you to come visit one of our campuses. You can find all the information you need at AbundantLifeChurch.com. My name is Jennifer. I am Overflow, and I am Abundant Life Church.